Today, we are going to talk about five reasons why every life coach should infuse their life story into their marketing. Hey, everyone. All right, I'm just kidding. I'm not going to talk in this mask. <laughs> I just wanted to make a little bit of some humor with everything going on right now. I actually had to wear that mask out when I went to the grocery store. It was weird. It was really weird. So no, we're not going to do our Facebook live today with our masks. Joking aside, we are going to talk about why it's so important to infuse your life story into your marketing as a life coach. So usually what I've been finding over the years is that people who are drawn into the coaching profession is they've been through a lot of struggles in their life, they've overcome a lot, and now they're like, how can I help people get through what I went through in life? And another question you may ask yourself is, how can I really use my life story in a way to help others? And there's a big gap there. So I want to help to close that gap today and to talk about why it is so important to give yourself permission to put your life story into your messaging and your marketing and the foundation of your business. But what I see happen a lot of times for a lot of coaches, and this is stuff that I went through myself as well, is there's some things, there's some fears of sharing your story, you know, visibly with others. You're afraid, you can be afraid of being judged and, you know, what will people think if I share my story? You know, am I going to come off as too much? And, you know, will I not look like the expert? Will I not look like a leader? Will I not be respected? You know, are people going to look at me as I'm like damaged and I'm broken and I'm pitied? Some other things are, you know, when you share your story in this vulnerable way, it really forces you to be seen and visible. And that's really scary for a lot of people. Also, a lot of people are afraid of hurting others with their stories, especially their families and their close friends. When we share our stories, we're afraid that it might come off as airing our dirty laundry or, or venting or complaining. And then also a lot of times people too will ask, you know, is my story valuable enough to share as well? So if you have gone through any of these things, then type yes in all caps in the comments. I would love to hear if any of these things relate to you. I know for me personally, all of these things actually are stuff that I've had to face and overcome in order to be more visible in public with sharing my life story into my coaching business. So seven reasons today why you absolutely do need to start sharing your story in your business. So the first one is that when you share your story with others, it actually creates an oxytocin bond. I bet you didn't know that. I just learned this in a TED Talk recently, it creates an oxytocin bond with the person hearing it. And maybe some of you know what oxytocin is, maybe you don't, but oxytocin is called the, the cuddle hormone. And it is a hormone that is created when we make love with someone, when we receive a hug, when we have a baby, when we breastfeed, and also when we share a personal story. And the whole purpose behind it is to create connection. And you have to remember that people buy with their emotions and people buy from people that they like and trust. So if people feel connected to you and they like you and they trust you, then it becomes a lot easier to say yes to working with you. And in a life coaching relationship is all about trust at the end of the day. So Again, this is why it's so important to share your story. Also, it creates trust and authenticity, and it makes you more relatable at the end of the day. I actually found out I say at the end of the day a lot. I'm trying not to say that so much. So that's, that's the one time I get to say that in this video, okay? No more saying at the end of the day after that. Also, too, you have to remember that people don't hire perfect coaches. Okay. People hire coaches that have been where they've been at one time and that, that, that can help them get through those same struggles. Okay. So just remember that people don't hire perfect coaches. 
people are afraid of being judged. This is as last week, Monica and I ran our Become a Fearless Public Speaker in Five Day Challenge. And we found out the number one fear that people had of public speaking is being judged. Okay. And so it's the same thing is that a lot of times people probably don't want to hire perfect coaches as they don't want to be judged. They want to hire someone who understands and gets them and can relate to them. Um, Cause remember when someone's reaching out to you, they are in a lot of pain. People usually don't reach out to coaches unless they're in some sort of emotional pain and they want to feel better and they want results. Your story is going to help you stand out from other coaches in the industry. There's the coaching is the second largest growing industry behind the tech industry right now. So there, you're seeing a lot of new life coaches pop up. When you share your story, it's going to really help you to stand out and differentiate you from the other coaches who are maybe doing somewhat similar things. And you have to remember that people, they want to buy you. They want to buy your energy, your personality, your secret sauce. Okay. People don't buy life coaching. They don't, they don't buy life coaching. They buy your energy. So the more that you can give your self permission to be seen and infuse, you know, really your story into your website and your Facebook post and everything that you do, that's going to really make you stand out. And in business, you do not want to blend in. I know that most of us growing up, we always want to be like everyone else, but when you're a business owner, you do not want to be like everybody else. You do not want to get lost in the crowd and your story is what's going to help you to really stand out. And it's also going to position you as a brave leader too, right? People want to work with someone who is brave and someone that they admire and they look up to. And also it's incredibly healing and freeing to start sharing your story and to not give a fuck what other people think. Like spending your entire life worrying about what others think and being fearful of being judged it's exhausting and it's not really living life at the end of the day. So when you just start openly sharing and you do it like in this unapologetic way and you own your story, like it is so fucking freeing and it is so healing through your, for your throat chakra as well. And for me, once I started really going more public with some of my mo more intimate taboo stories, I just like, I saw my health change. I saw my happiness change. I just started showing up differently. I felt lighter. I felt more confident and just feels amazing in life. And so it's really scary at first, but then the more you do it, you're like, I don't know, like I'm just in a place in my life where I really don't care anymore what my friends or family think or random trolls on YouTube. Like I know that I was put here for a big reason and that people need to hear my story and they need to hear my message. And if I spend all my time worrying about what other people are going to think, then I can't show up and do my job at the end of the day. So I, I want you to be able to develop that same kind of attitude as well. No more hiding, right? It's time to stop hiding. And also you're going to really be able to attract your soulmate clients when you share your story. And I know this from, this is how I've grown my business is because some of my most favorite and successful clients have come from my more intimate stories. When I went live with my abortion story a couple of years ago, I had a bunch of people reach out to me afterwards and say, Hey, like, I'm really interested in working with you. I've never seen anyone be so public with their story. You know, I've, I've had an abortion as well. And I'm really ready to heal from that and move past that. And, and since you shared your story, like it made me feel like I could trust you. So there's an example there. There was another example where I hired a client where I shared a really embarrassing sexual story from high school about self-pleasure. And then after I shared that, this girl reached out to me and was like, oh my gosh, how can I hire you? Like, that was so brave of you to share that story. I want to do something similar. I have a lot of, you know, sexual shame from my past that I'm ready to release and I I'm seeing you do it. So I want you to teach me how to do what you're doing. So as you can see, again, when you give yourself permission to share these stories in a more visible way, it's going to invite people to reach out and want to work with you and hire you versus 
going off and hiring someone else. So now you might be asking yourself like, okay, how do I do this? How do I share my story in a way that it feels good for me and my audience in a clear and professional way that leads to more clients? Uh, because there is, it's, you don't want to just go out there and just like brain dump everything. There is a formula. There is techniques on how to really powerfully share your, you know, more raw and intimate stories with your audiences in a way that makes that positions you as the expert and then guides them to reach out and to hire you. And so that's actually why Monica and I created the Fearless Public Speaking Academy that's going to be starting next week. And I want to invite all of you to think about joining us. We're actually looking for six more women we already have four that are joining and we have spots open for six more women who, you know, are ready to share their story in a bigger and more visible way. And you want to be a confident speaker and you want to be an effective leader and you want to start infusing your story into your group programs and your retreats and your workshops and Maybe you write a book and maybe start a podcast and a YouTube channel, but you're like, I just have so many stories and I'm afraid of being that visible and, and all those other things we talked about at the beginning, I'm afraid of being judged. Then this, the Academy is for you because we're going to teach you. We're going to teach you how to be a confident speaker we're gonna give you the skills of how to stay organized, how to not let your mind go blank, how to not let your nerves take over and to really powerfully show up online. Now is the time to start doing that. Again, so that way you can really stand out from all the other coaches out there and grow your business and find those amazing clients who are ready to work with you and put that energetic sign out there of, I'm ready, I'm ready to start finding my clients and make the money I deserve and to help people heal in their lives. So if you really have, if you've been loving and identifying with my energy and you feel called to go bigger, with your story and your message, then you're gonna be a perfect fit for our Fearless Public Speaking Academy. So I will drop the link and so that way you can check out the information in the comment section and see if it's the right fit for you. And if so, I'll also put our link for a discovery call. So that way you can learn more information about it, all right? So thanks everyone for watching. I so appreciate you and value you and cannot wait for you to start sharing your life story in a bigger way. All right, bye.